can draw the sun or the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! My name is uh, Matt Van Fleet, and I've been writing and illustrating children's books for probably about 25 years now. So you guys may or may not have had some of these. Um, but basically, when I, if we're, I'm going to do a little drawing segment, but when I learned how to draw, I didn't go to school for it. I majored in biology in college and I never really learned how to draw. I just doodled a lot and picked up how to do it um, by looking at animals. So all my books are really animal related. There's no people in any of them. They're all different animals. So in tails, there's, um, and they're all real animals. This is kind of an unusual one. Anybody know what that thing is? Very close. It's a pangolin. It's related, so it's kind of scaly like that. Um, so I look at a lot of different books. I go to the Bronx Zoo a lot, and I spend a lot of time with the animals, and then I slowly learn how to draw them. But it's just a lot of practice. I never really studied it. I just keep drawing and drawing and drawing until it looks right. Um, so I'll try drawing an animal for you, and I just kind of pull them out of my head. Is there a specific animal you guys want me to draw? And I'll see if I can do it. A leopard. Hmm, let's see. So this is a tiger. I draw them all the same way. Like when I draw a cat, I always start with a circle for the head, right? So I, uh, I draw a circle, and I'll draw really light and then darken it when I go and erase all the pencil lines. So I start with a circle, and then if it's a cat, when I do their nose, I just draw a little triangle. So like that. And then what does their mouth look like? To make a little cat mouth. Like that. Right? And then the eyes are just little dots. I do, these are more like caricatures of animals. And then let's see if it's a cat, because that could pretty much be anything right now, right? It could be a dog, it depends. Hmm, yep. So if it's a cat, well, let's see, a domestic cat would have a triangle, right? So if I draw a thing like that, triangles, right? Hmm, it's pretty much like a cat, right? What else does a cat have? What else would make him a cat? Whiskers. Whiskers, oh, that's a good one. And claws. Let's see, what does claws look like? Like, paw. like his little paw. I always draw them like this in that position. Yeah, yeah. Look like little paws. And I give him claws. Ah! Mean I cat. Do, uh, How do we make him a mean kitty? You guys make a mean face. What does a mean face look like? Like what? Your eyebrows go down, right? Right. So your eyebrows go down like that. And if I'm doing a lion, like on this, when I draw a lion or a tiger, the only difference is I'll make the ears rounded. So it's more like, I'll draw a little triangle face, a smiley, little eyeballs, and then when I do this little thing, I draw them like circles like that. Yeah, sort of right, sort of a cat, sort of. Is that a dog? Let's see, if I made, it, if I made the triangles different, we could make them a dog, right? Do a triangle, a little thing. I, what, you know what kind of dog I always draw? Same dog every time, because it's the kind of dog I have. And I make his little ears like that, like upside down triangles like that. Anybody know what kind of dog that is? Or supposed to be? <laughs> supposed to look like, supposed to look like him. That's my dog. Aww. It's Oscar when he was a puppy. Isn't he cute? That's a pug. So I draw the little ears like that, like little upside down triangles. So I'm always amazed at people who can just draw something perfectly the first time. I erase a lot and then I go back and forth. That's how I, that's how I draw.